I also wanted to ask you about this because you played college football at USC. When you have a head coach who is younger than you, how do you think this plays? How long does this play or is this an issue with the Rams that Sean McVay is 30 years of age? You know, I don't know him uh, like, uh, like I know some coaches here and there, but when a guy's 30 years old, it makes you think, well, who hired him? And the guy that hired him is a young guy that's coming into a lot of question, Kevin Demoff, uh, the guy that hired Jeff Fisher, mm-hmm. the guy that fired uh, Jeff Fisher, the guy that allowed Jeff Fisher to hire a novice offensive coordinator to help out a rookie quarterback, learn to take snaps under center. So there, there's a lot of missteps here. And it looks like a young guy hiring somebody that he can control as opposed to hiring a coach that's just going to come in and and take the lion's share of the responsibility of, of building the team and, and doing that sort of stuff. To be honest, it kind of reminds me, you mentioned college football, of the situation when Lane Kiffin was hired by Mike Garrett at USC after the Pete Carroll departure to Seattle, which was, hey, uh, we're hiring this young guy who's inexperienced and this and that, but he's going to bring his dad and he's going to bring Ed Ogeron. And that's kind of what's happening here with McVay. They're saying, well, we're bringing this young guy in, but he's bringing the gray head Wade Phillips, and he's going to provide the stability. Well, they already had a defensive Super Bowl winning coach uh, in Greg Williams. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it, there's still a, just a lot of uh, a lot to be desired about the management of the Rams since they came to Los Angeles. How would you grade Jared Goff's first year? I'd give him a D. I guess, you know, I, I, it's not his fault to be, to be completely frank. He had uh, a, not a, not a high grade offensive coordinator, or at least that was considered to be that in Boris Wanky w- was not coming out of uh, a lot of NFL experience as a coach. And then all of a sudden, you know, here's a guy from one of those sunny Dykes types of offenses where you're taking shotgun snaps and, you know, doing a lot of play action with, zone read stuff and all of a sudden you want him to look down the field and, and read progression and play in a pro style offense to me i didn't think he wasn't a prospect i mean the guy has a talented arm we saw him a bunch on the west coast but why give up all those picks and take him at number one you put yourself behind the eight ball because he looks like a, a baby giraffe under center i mean his <laughs> he doesn't have the muscles in his ass you know he doesn't have the muscles in his legs to drop back and look like a man yet and when that's the number one pick in the draft, that, that's a bad look. So they needed to hire a savvy, barnacle-filled offensive coordinator <laughs> last year to work with him. And, and they didn't. And we'll see what they do uh, with this young guy. But he's got a 30-year-old that's in charge that looks like Sean from The Bachelor. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.